Ah, this is easy. Was that through? No. That's not through, is it? Joel, that's not actually mould. Are you a fan of creepy crawlies? Because they're spider's eggs. You're joking. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back. Today, I'm at my favorite place in the entirety of YouTube. I'm at the iValet UK studio on YouTube, the home deep cleans and valeting videos. It's also my favorite place in the world because every time I bring a car here, go through a transformation. And today, hopefully, will be no exception. Before we focus uh, on the 7 Series with the interior and with the Z4 on the exterior, this is gonna get a mixture both. I'm so sorry to bring you another disaster of a car. Thank you, mate. Um, are you going to be making a video on this one as well? <laughs> yeah, we are, yeah. It'll okay. be over on our channel as well, Sweet. so there'll be a link up there somewhere. You guys are trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so if we can help them achieve that target, that would be fantastic. We need, we need 300, 300 or so, but we are doing also the G-Technic package giveaway that you may or may not know about. So when we hit a thousand subs, we're giving away a load of G-Tech goodies to somebody. So. It's, um, it's worth just hitting the button. Just do it. Okay, cool. So here's my 2003 Range Rover. It, it was the cheapest V8 when I bought it. Yep. Which is sort of the theme of, oh. There's an Asbo in a Morgan. I paid basically two grand for this. You did. Um, and it's remarkably in good condition, but as you're gonna see, uh, it's it's not perfect. <laughs> it's not, there's there's plenty of stuff to be done, um, but the engine sounds good, solid-ish. So it does. It does to be fair. the chance of breaking down is, is less likely. <laughs> Let's um, just see if we can do it in a clean way, should we? <laughs> yeah, let me just point out a couple of things I've noticed. I'm sure I've seen you looking around the car already, but you've probably noticed. I mean, so I selfishly sort of took the sun visor things off yeah, and haven't quite done an amazing job at getting rid of all the glue residue. That'd be the wind deflectors, but yes, that's they are it. now off. <laughs> sun, sun visor wind deflector <laughs> things? So that's on all windows. Yep. And then I noticed some mould uh, in the boot. I think the boot probably needs a good amount of attention, actually. Up there. Yes. I don't know if you guys can see that. So, Joel, that's not actually mould. Um, what is it, then, if it's not mould? Are you a fan of creepy crawlies? because they're spider's eggs. You're joking. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and there's quite a few of them as well. Wait, all of these on... All those little white dots in there, little tiny spider's eggs. Uh, so where are the spiders? Uh, good question. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to find out. Oh, evidently. God. <laughs> OK, uh, well, I'm going to cautiously open that. Uh, yeah, there's, there's various bits of, of mould and stuff um, all around. I know the parcel shelf's an absolute mess. I mean, to yeah. be honest, a lot of this probably just needs replacing, but it will be remarkable to see what difference you guys can make. It looks like there's probably been a lot of kind of animal, maybe, maybe dogs, maybe... It smells of dog, I think, this deer car. Deer or pheasant or... <laughs> Lots of dead, <laughs> dead animals. Some dead stuff, yeah. Um, but yeah, it'll tidy up, it's fine. Yeah. Um, so I guess we should uh, get what, cracking. What about the exterior though? Because I love the colour and I'm yeah. excited to sort of see that. Ideally, I think shiny. we need to have a look under the lights. Yeah, so we'll get sure. a bit of footage of that as well beforehand. See just how bad it is. See what we can do to improve that. Um, and we'll try and get a nice mixture of both inside and out for you today. So That's it awesome. goes out generally clean again.
Okay then, so things are coming along with the Range Rover. The exterior has had a really nice wash and a bit of a clay actually. And so this paintwork is feeling super, super smooth. Bit more on the outside later because currently you can see the boots all opened up, ready to be cleaned and it's not obviously been looked at yet. But what has been looked at in partial is the front, the front left here. You can see the seat is looking almost new. Shine indicates grime and dirt and stuff. And you can see this seat, which hasn't been looked at yet, the driver's side compared to over there. And it's almost a matte finish on that side because, well, the difference is quite incredible. I absolutely love this Gibbony green paintwork and actually it's looking amazing in the sun already. But like I say, we'll look a little bit uh, more at the outside later. And yeah, also the carpet here is looking really nice too. It's gonna be such a massive difference and make, just make a world of difference to uh, sort of how the car just feels to drive. There's nothing like having a completely clean car. It does make it feel brand new. So yeah, it's coming along nicely and I'm looking forward to seeing how much better it gets. Meanwhile, the iValet guys here uh, do a lot of the cleaning and preparation for McLaren Hatfield because it's literally just up the road. So actually we've just had a 570S leave. This is a 570 GT. And there's also a 720S, really nice, tucked away in there out of the wet vacuum from the Range Rover, this is what's come out. That is absolutely disgusting. That's, I mean, that's a good amount of mud. This is the colour that's just come out of that big... Oh, that's how dirty it is. Look at that. That was clear water going into it. guys some hours later and the Range Rover is back outside looking unbelievable um, we've also got this fine specimen <laughs> on the right hand side <laughs> if you would be so kind because to be honest I've been locked away upstairs for most of the time yes. trying to beat Paul Wallace's lap on the uh, on your simulator <laughs> upstairs which I've done by the way you have well so, done um, yeah I'm Paul very... will be most displeased <laughs> I'm sure he'll be back next week to, <laughs> to beat it yeah. anyway um yeah what's been going on then because to me it just it looks fantastic thank you mate so um interior got a full clean down um pretty much a detailed interior clean and the outside was clayed uh we did a machine polish on the bonnet because okay. it was mostly swirled and that's now all come out and looks great uh, the rest of it got hand finished coating so it's nice and hydrophobic but there's one last major issue oh which you may not have known about but basically this is for you uh what on earth is <laughs> <laughs> what, what are we doing <laughs> this here is the water line oh my god in oh, your oh, tail oh, that's water right. yeah that, that definitely is water oh so that is that why uh the the lights are all sort of indeed condensated yes. if that's the word common land rover problem um but basically the owner's forum suggests that you drill a hole in the bottom of it so does it now uh we thought we'd let you do the honors oh god <laughs> so what drilling a hole in here to... basically just yeah in the bottom corner just where the water is, let the water drain, and hopefully it will prevent it from happening again as well. Okay. So, well, why not? Let's the give official it a go. fix. <laughs> ah, this is easy. Was that through? No, that's not through, is it?
We've got a squirter. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <Look at> <laughs> Well, it is all done, as Rob just said, um, and hopefully the little, little light drill modification will help these, because you can see they're still a bit cloudy. But in terms of the paintwork, I love this Givendi Green paintwork, and it just looks so good now. It's all been cleaned. Uh, the spider's eggs are gone, thank God. Lots of the mould, well, all of the mould is gone. And like, just the carpets in here, you realise how plush they are now, that they've been like fully cleaned up. Also, if we just come around here quickly, interior the seats these are like a massive difference whereas before they were really shiny and like greasy now they're like really matted and look almost well they look pretty much new same with the steering wheel and some of the other trim pieces in here so and it smells amazing in there too because before so you can't smell youtube but it wasn't pleasant um and yeah you can see around the front where it's been polished because it looks like glass and just this paintwork feels so smooth now. Honestly, before it was like sandpaper and now it's like a baby's bottom. Big thank you to the guys here uh, again. Make sure you go and check out their channel because they are putting out really, well, much more consistent content than I am. And it's all satisfying cleaning, detailing videos. So if you guys liked this one, you're gonna love theirs. And of course, they've got a video on this car on the channel too. So thanks so much for watching. Go over and subscribe, help them to get to a thousand subs. Um, and I'll see you all very, very soon.